This is Zombie Thuggin Podcast. Just sit back and listen, and also eat a dick, bitches. Gang, and we're back for the second part of last week's episode. This week, this episode, um, Sideways and I, we get into the conversation about honor, loyalty, the armed forces, um, not always believing what you see, um, you know, being able to think for yourself, and you know, how that you can be patriotic without being so gun ho about everything. So, it's a good episode. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm gonna put us right back into it. Here we go. Fucking street nigga and this and that, and they don't, they don't care, you know. They just, they, they just possessed by fucking. But none of it is rap though. It's like a lot of shits like that nowadays, man. Just, they don't. They just don't give a fuck no more. No. <laughs> There's no honor, no dignity. But if they're just like Al Capone, though, mother. Yeah, oh, I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's no honor. There's no. There's no honor. There's no dignity. There's no fucking respect anymore. Mm. You know, those three things have kind of just got thrown straight out the window. People's honor. People's honor is like that's all fucking screwed honor, up and dude. fucking it's fucked up. I don't even want to say there is no honor because honor is like st- honor is basically from a from a straight technical definition. Is this? following a code, you know, mm-hmm. even when no one else is following it, that's being true to a fucking type of code, there is no code anymore, yeah. you know, really the only honor, the only code and honor nowadays is a really fucked up sense of honor, like, well, do whatever it takes to make money, yeah, makes it attitude nowadays, man, it's like the 80s relived all over again, because that's basically the whole uh, attitude of the 80s, make, <laughs> make money, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greed is good. Yeah, greed is good. Make money and snort fucking cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, hey, we're reliving that now. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of saying that last night. I was like, nothing's really new. It's, no, it's just like it's the just, new 80s. It's on repeat. <laughs> yeah. And the 90s could technically be like the 70s. In the sense of like, um, You know, I don't know if you ever like grew up like if your if your mom was like, oh the seventies music was so much better than the shit that's out now. No, well because my mom listens to Spanish shit anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but like my parents, yeah, that was like the seventies was so much better. This this and this. Um, well, this, because you know, here, here, here's, here's an example of that one because like in the seventies it was actually shit to fight for. Yeah. I mean. And nineties, there was some things that there was still that kind of come into essence kind of deal anyway. You know, a little bit of rebellion. Yeah. Uh, now. Now it's free fall. Yeah. <laughs> these motherfuckers are trying to look for something. That's what. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo, Yeah>. Let's go. <laughs> the eighties, there was like kind of rebellion there too, but really it was just. I don't know, man. It's, this this is area this area is fucking stupid, man. It's mm-hmm. fucking retarded. You know, what's it I was talking to talking to, I was at the bar last night. What a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know, we were talking and shit like that and I was we we originally started talking about like um how uh the whole conflict with North Korea again and shit like that. Yeah. You know, and all that. And we, we, we started talking on that and, and just the whole bomb, the recent bombings and shit like that. Oh, and, the Syrian bombings. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you know, when I say this, do not get me wrong, I always hesitate on saying it, honestly. I, like, on here I don't really too much, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want my friends stuff. I, I kind of hesitate on it. I'm really picky about who I say this with mm-hmm. and who I share my actual views with, you know? 
because, like, my views can be looked at as, like, well, I'm unpatriotic and I fucking hate America. No, I don't, you know. Uh, and, uh, but what's it called? Like, for one, I'm not, like, these reasons, by, and, and I love the Army. Uh, I love, uh, you know, I got respect. Let me use that. Let me rephrase it. I got respect for people who fucking serve in the Army, you know, in our, in our armed forces stuff. I really do. They're soldiers. I respect the shit out of them, you know. Who pe- the people I don't respect, you know, the, well, I have a hard time respecting. I don't want to say I don't respect, like, flat out. But the people I have a hard time respecting are our fucking political leaders. Yes. I really do, you know. Because they're snakes. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. They're snakes and fucking liars and charlatans. They're fucking assholes. Yeah. Well, I use the word charlatan. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I'm getting serious. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> no, but... So what's it called? Like, you basically look at modern war. What's the gist of it? This fucking billionaire is fucking arguing with this other fucking billionaire. So now they're arguing, and what are they going to do to settle the argument? I'm going to send a bunch of people that don't know you to go kill a bunch of other people that you send that don't know you to fucking settle our argument. A a bunch of unnecessary deaths for nothing. You know? And and meanwhile, it's like, you know, that's what I said. I got respect for the soldiers and stuff like that. Somebody had... You know, but then they camouflage. Oh, we're defending freedoms and this and that. It's like, nigga, really, what freedom? No, the, the freedom I got here is, like I said, I love this place. Because I can't talk shit about my own fucking government in another country. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a freedom, you know what I mean? Yeah. But really, I mean, it comes down to that. It's like, that's how I feel about it, man. And uh, we were even talking about that. It's like, he was like, no. Because at this point, it was like, yeah, Eric, I was like, let's be realistic. Everybody got fucking nukes. Oh, yeah. Everybody has fucking yeah. nukes. And he was like, yeah, but at this point, like, you don't think we had defenses for nukes and stuff like that? No. And I was like, no. Nah. Honestly, uh, that's why I told him. I was like, yeah, I know we do in some sense. But who do you think that defense is for? It ain't for us, yeah. the actual people. <laughs> They'll defend all our fucking political leaders because they're important and shit like that. And then we'll fucking be left. The rest of us will be left nope. the, the fucking rot away and mutate a fucking... Nuclear fucking wasteland, you know. <laughs> you know, I was like, trust me, that's how it's really gonna go down, and shit. You know, that's how it's really gonna go down, cause they don't give a fuck about us. No, no. I don't give a fuck what they say. They don't give a shit about us. They only give a fuck about the niggas that in charge, making money, the niggas that were growing up in the gang. It's a fuck, and that's why I told them I was like, in all reality, it's a fucking gang bang all over again. I was like, I'm, you know, I let, I have let out bits of my past here. It's like, you know, obviously, I was a fucking gangbanger, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it all reminds me of. Is that's a fucking gangbang? You have the dumb niggas that wait, they'll throw their fucking, throw their fucking rags up. Yeah, we crips, we bloods, we, <laughs> we're we folk, we folk nation, rah 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 rah, <laughs> throwing up gang signals and shit, gang stuff, uh, you know. And then you have the real motherfuckers, the real motherfuckers. They don't give a shit about you. They just give more fuck about making money, you know? Oh, they'll tell you they give a shit about you, but... Yeah, don't. and exactly, and they don't. But they'll tell you, oh, yeah. oh, nigga, we got love for you, you a strong-ass soldier. And, and you know when they do that? Every four years. Yeah, Or every exactly. two years when they come to fucking need your vote. Yep. And then after that, guess what? Fuck you, go back to the line. Yeah. That's what happens. Oh, you know, I care about your what you need. In fact, when I get to Washington, or where I get wherever, I'm gonna do this for you. Yep. Fucking minute they get elected. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> what was that you wanted? Fuck. Yeah. Trump, Trump has done some things. I'll give him credit on that. But he's done a lot of things that he said he wasn't going to do either. And yeah. Oh, yeah. And it really all it was is that's to win the vote. Yep. Uh, you know, win the backing of the people. He yeah. didn't really need the vote. I don't give, you know, no real president that's going to get elected needs the votes. Mm-hmm. They already have the votes. <laughs> yeah. With the electoral college, whatever. College. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, the, like the one thing he could, like the main thing he criticized Obama about. Vacations. Or, yeah, vacations. <laughs> this nigga's gone. Seventeen, dude. Yeah. Fucking seventeen. Fucking rounds of golf that fuckers played. 
Right. They fucking calculated. 17 rounds of golf. Well, no, and then the other ones, though. Like, you know, people go, oh, Obama was pussy. I was like, no, Obama bombed a lot of motherfuckers when oh. he was in office. He just didn't bomb the motherfuckers that, you know. He was strategic about it. Yeah. Don't forget, this motherfucker had the balls to send a fucking special ops group into a fucking country that we did not have rights to go into yep. to fucking kill Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Fucking, that took balls. I don't what it says. Because he could have started fucking major wars. Yep. Over that shit. And what he said, he said, you know what? You should have fucking harbored him. Yeah. No, but what's it called, uh... No, what's it called, like, the difference is he, he, he won... He, for the most part, Obama tried to play more, you know, go through more of the UN and yeah. stuff like that, where Trump didn't. Yeah. So I'll give him, that's what I'm saying, in some sense, I'll give him right on that one. But, like, what's it called? We bombed him because, like, uh, oh, how he treated his people and stuff. No, that's bullshit. We bombed him because, I guarantee you, there's some financial thing that they're arguing about, that we're arguing about, mm-hmm. that's not fully being covered, put out there. That's the real reason why that nigga got bombed. <laughs> it's serious. It wasn't because of biological testing on people or anything like that. <laughs> You know that's a that's a treaty there that that was broken too. That's towards the the UN the the Universal Treaty. No one's to use biological weapons yep. of any kind. You know. And here he is testing fucking. Yeah, he's fucking chemical warfare in his own people. Yeah. But you know the problem is like he got Russia who's backing him, so no one really wants to piss off Russia. Yeah. Because if you piss off Russia, then you're I have to start a fucking World War Three. Yeah. So well, you got Ru- you got Russia, North Korea. In China, if I remember right. The one that scares me most is North Korea. That fucking guy's insane. Yeah. You just never know when that fucking guy's just gonna send off a missile for fucking shit yeah. giggles. No, I'll say straight up. All three of those motherfuckers scare me, man. Yeah. I don't know. China really, doesn't scare really, me as much. Well, what's it called? Here's why China scares me. Because they just wipe Because of their manpower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have one billion people. And in the end, honestly, all governments scare me because, like yeah. I said, the oh, yeah, shit exactly. that they're not telling you, the yeah. shit that they are hiding, yeah. you know? And then meanwhile, you got all these other motherfuckers all proud about it. Yeah, we bought them. Go America. I'm proud to be American. It's like, <laughs> I'm, you know what? Honestly, no, nah, man. Like, war is necessary. Don't get me wrong. War is necessary. But it's like, the thing that kind of, it's like, okay, why? No one yeah. fucking asks real questions. This is yeah. blind patriotism. And it's like, dude, yep. that's, as, that's as evil as this following... You know, look at some of the cats that, like, were, were, what's it called, that followed Nazi Germany. I'm not comparing fucking Trump to, to fucking Hitler, though. Yeah. Before anybody Disclaimer. goes that way. Yeah. Disclaimer. Yeah. Disclaimer. You're not comparing. <laughs> I'm example. just using it example. as an example. Not all people in the Nazi regime fucking fully agreed with Hitler. They just followed him because that, and it wasn't even out of fear or anything like that. It was just more of, like, that was the natural thing. The, the, nat, the natural thing to do It was the mob mentality Everybody else is going along with them yeah. So I'm going to go along with them too Because I'm not going to question anything Yeah Speaking of which Did you ever see that picture Of uh, Hitler in the speech Where everyone's fucking Giving him the salute Yeah There's so one guy in the picture That's not Yeah Did you fucking know The backstory of that motherfucker No This guy This is fucking crazy He's He was married to a Jewish woman Okay Didn't make it fucking known Fucking people found out So they put them both in jail so they separate them from, like, each other for pretty much the rest of their lives. Yeah. She ends up dying in a concentration camp. He, like, gets, like, like pretty much, like, abandoned from, like, Germany. So he can't, and, like, his, his kids get, like, raised by, like, his, like, his grandparents, his parents. But, like, he... Um, but it's just, like, a crazy, like, holy shit, you, like... The backstory behind that picture is fucking insane. Damn. Um, but like he like he he tries to get back to like his kids, but I don't think he ever really does. I don't think he ever sees his kids again. Oh, that sucks. Um, but it's like his fucking wife gets fucking sent to like Auschwitz or someplace and fucking gets gassed. Damn. It's like damn. No, this uh, what's it called? Let's. That, but even like that, that's some. That's what I'm even talking about. Anyway, it's just like well. The blind patriotism. And yeah. Shit. Follow us on Twitter at Zombie Thuggin. Also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash ZT podcast. You can't tell me like everyone in the picture that's saluting really did believe, you know, fuck the Jews. And... 
believed in all that crazy yeah. shit, you know? The, like, we're the master race. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes. Bullshit. No, half the motherfuckers just went along with it. Yeah. You know? That's what it is. It's just, I'm going with the crowd. I'm going along with it. I'm not going to question a single thing at all. Whether, whether even in my core, if I'm like, I don't know if this is 100% accurate or 100% good. Maybe I should question a little bit. No, I'm yeah. just going to go with it. Fuck yeah. it. You know? I'm not going to ask any more questions to find out any more detail and shit. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. What's it called? One of his high commanders. I think he ran Auschwitz, actually. He didn't get killed. He was one of the ones that got you know, incarcerated and, you know, questioned and shit like that. Um, Lay was going to go interview him and stuff, and she was expecting it, like, the interview, like, some troll-like fucking monster of a mm-hmm. human being or something like that, and when she talked to him, when she started talking to him, he, like, you, she... She came to come to came to kind of realize like wow this guy wasn't this ogreish kind of mm. per- creature he was actually a sound human being his only real evil was that he just went along with everything mm-hmm. he took orders you know that was his real evil you know he was a man of di- he was, in most sense in some degree he was a man of dignity and and respect and stuff he was you know. And one of his quotes was that I, I had no real agenda against the people we tortured or anything like that. I was just following orders. Mm-hmm. Was doing what I was told. Yeah. Much, yeah. I went along with it because that was my duty. And it's like, man, that's that's a definition of evil right there. When mm-hmm. you know. When it's like later on you you know it's evil going on or like you suspect it evil and but you keep your voice down and you just go along with it anyway. Yeah. You know. But uh yeah. When you, when you realize like serious. what's <laughs> going on is wrong, but you just say, Okay, well, you know, just do what I gotta do. Well, what's it called? Like he didn't even say it was wrong. It was just like, hey, that's yes. what was my order. Yeah. You know? Like I said, it's the blind patriotism. Yeah. It's not even so much that you realize. It's just like you that's, just don't. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Because the the upper heads are saying do this, so it has to be good. Yeah. Yep. So we're just gonna do it, you know. Because obviously my leaders know what they're doing. Yeah. I you will know. not think for myself. Yeah. You know. I'll think for my country. Or yeah. My fear. So, the bombings went on, you know. And like I said, I'm I, I respect the so I respect our army. And our soldiers, and they do oh, absolutely. whatever yeah. they have to do, you know. And even though I've seen some like really fucked up shit in my lifetime, I I, have, I will never experience something that a person experienced in, in service in the time of war. Mm-hmm. On top of everything else, too, you know. Now I would never even go close to saying some shit like that. Yeah. You know? But like at the end of it, it's like okay, I will say it like this: we gone over. And we bombed the bases. We didn't bomb the actual the country, you know what yeah. I mean? But, like, in the end of it, it's like, okay, how does that really... To me, how does that really solve anything of any kind of thing? We send a message that we ain't playing? Like, really? Like I said, man, people don't want to really realize, like, what the what the whole thing is. Like I said, you know what? It's here, that, yeah, there. Oh, we bombed someone. Yeah! yeah. And, oh, we're showing them we, we have a backbone and we're not willing... You know what? Yeah. Niggas do the same thing with gangbang. What do you think a house uh, a drive by is uh, meant for? In all honesty, you know, drive by is basically literally just that. We gonna roll by this motherfucker's house, snatch, sm- smash this dude up. We may not hit that motherfucker, yeah. but we're hitting a bunch of his other, other motherfuckers to let him know, you hey, nigga, we ain't playing. Yeah. Drive by and bomb is the same fucking thing. Is this? The difference is, motherfuckers ain't wearing fucking do rags and fucking baggy jeans. Niggas are wearing suits and ties. But it's the same shit. And, and a majority of motherfuckers in the, in the fucking car, they don't know. They don't know these motherfuckers. Yeah. It's the soldiers. They just going along. With yeah, they just going along. Hey, let's go out there. Order. Up, shoot the motherfuckers up. Let them know we ain't fucking around. Yeah, I got an order. Gotta do it. Yeah. You know. Same with the people bombing them. You know, All right, Tyrese. Off. Why won't you go do it and handle your own business, nigga? I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> is Jamal there? Ah, we don't know. Let's go and shoot. Let's go shoot his people up. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jamal though. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. But, but we beefing, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go hit 
Jamal's people up, even though Jamal ain't there, and really ain't even so much we beefing. You, you and you and Jamal beefing, but y'all gonna send us to go shoot at niggas we really don't even know, yeah. but we beefing and we got each other back. We family. Wow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Same old shit. It's the same fucking mentality. Yeah. I don't really... And that one, like... And I will go as far as saying, no. That one I will openly argue with anybody who wants to tell me, like, no, it's not. No. Yeah, it is. It's the same fucking mentality. What, like I said, false... And I use the word false patriotisms, you know? Real patriotism is, to at least in my definition, is like, you know, I love this country. But there is some things I don't. What's yeah. called that can't be better. Absolutely. Period. And uh, when stuff is going on that I don't agree with, I'm gonna exercise my Speak freedom and saying, exactly. you know what, I don't agree with it. Yeah. You know. Now, well, there's my country. These people are in charge. So rah rah rah. Yeah. Why am I using that voice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm with you because like it's if. if just sit back and you just sit there and let them, you know, oh, you know, the my politicians, they know what they're doing, blah, 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 and it's something that's going on, and you're like, wait, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Why are we doing this? It's your job, really, as a fucking citizen, to fucking stand up and say something. I don't really agree with this, guys. Yeah. Just sitting there and letting it go on. This question. Yeah. Question. Ask for the answers. Ask for some details, you know? Instead of just like, you know, sitting there and letting it fucking just go on and on and on. No, when we was all talking about it, like, I even got to the point, too, where I was like, you know, I'm not going to lie, though. Honestly, like, I've stopped looking at news altogether. I try. Yeah, I don't really listen to news, though. Like, if if it's on, it's at work. Because we have this TV at work. Well, remember I told, remember how I used to look, I didn't look at CNN, I didn't look at U.S. Broadcast news. I still knew what was going on because I looked at overseas news, exactly, yeah. which was more detailed and shit. Yeah, but it, BBC. That's my favorite. It's BBC. But now it's like I don't even want to. What's it? It has nothing to do with like uh, the whole like. Uh, the, I feel like they're telling lies because I don't think they are. I really don't believe they are. This is more of like I at this point, honestly, between all the bullshit that's going on now, to me, honestly, at this point, ignorance is bliss. Yeah, isn't it? And. uh to me, the best news is no news. <laughs> the best, no. To me, the best news is uh, what what's going on in Gus's life today. I'd rather focus on my shit than the outside shit. Yeah. Maybe that's completely wrong, and I should be aware of what dangers and stuff like that. But it's like at this point, there's so much negativity going on. I'd rather just not even look at the negativity at yeah. all anymore. So my first exercise is really just go back to focusing on my shit. Yeah, I agree with you there. Because even like if you bring shit up, it's like. Nowadays, you can't have an argument, you can't have a conversation with anyone without, like, it turns into, like, some full-blown... Argument. Like, huge, like, I hate you, fuck you, and... Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I'm fortunate enough that people I do bring it up to, we can have actually healthy can, yeah. conversation about it without any actual, like, like heated custom. emotion going yeah. on. Yeah. That we can talk, so we can talk, civil even if we, even if we don't agree, we can talk, like, civil adults yeah. about it with sense and fucking... Moral and shit, and like, yeah, name calling don't get brought up or anything, man. Cause, like, you know, even last night when I was talking about some of the shit, the, you know, the bouncer that I was talking with, you know, we, <clears throat> he didn't agree with all the stuff. He was like, but I see your point and I get where you're coming from. And honestly, it's the same thing with him. I, you know, I didn't agree with some of the stuff he was saying, but I saw his point and I got where you're coming from. Yeah. And I accepted it. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> different views of seeing it and shit like that and you know and they're wrong in that we're supposed to we're yeah. supposed to be different we're supposed to have different views we're supposed to not honestly what's it called it's fine if you don't even agree with everything you know this is more of like what's it called you come to an agreement you come to the term a piece of like you know what I agree to disagree exactly and like I said civil about it you know but and like I said though but at the same time War is necessary. I will say that too. Oh, yeah. I'm not fucking waving the flag and being like, "Oh, man, super yeah. hippie Gus." No, war is necessary, man. <laughs> I don't know if there is such a thing it's called super hippie Gus. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked up to see, right? 
Hey, man. But what I will say is, like, what what's it called? Like, not, war ain't always about, like, maintaining peace. That's that's the real deal. Yeah. Again, I'll use my symbolism of comparing, comparing like, bombings to a fucking drive-by, you know? You're invading our set, or, uh, what's it called? You ain't, you, you're running through our fucking money and shit like that. ba pop 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 Stay in your lane, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Zombie Thugging Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, and Google Play. Subscribe and leave feedback. And then, you know, the usual, you know, the usual things that ignorance that usually comes up when shit like that happens, stuff like that. Well, you know, they're invading us. They're trying to come at us and stuff. 9-11, I was like, 9-11 happened. 9-11 was, again, another fucking drive-by example. Stay yeah. the fuck out of our... Stay in your lane. Stay land. out of our country. Yeah. That's... That's exactly what they were whether, saying. Whether, like, honestly, like, you know, you can argue with, uh, uh, you know, in some sense it was somewhere with stage or whatever. There's some of arguments. There's a whole shitload of arguments about that. Yeah. But really, that was the gist... That was the gist message of 9-11 anyway. Uh, from whatever terrorist cell was going on at the time. Uh, that was... I can't remember anymore. Fucking, bin Laden and uh, his yeah, fucking, uh, homies. They're all the same C. They just fucking split off. But Al Qaeda. Al Yeah, but that was the main gist of the the message anyway. Stay the, stay the fuck out of our country. Stay in your lane. They don't want to invade us. <laughs> no. They had no fucking desire to invade us. They just yeah. wanted us to fuck out of their country. Yeah. Let them do what they want and let them run. Off. They, yeah, let them run their biz. Which, honestly, the last country to ever try to evade us, like, fully evade us, was fucking Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Britain tried to overthrow us. And how how many fucking centuries ago was that? <laughs> well, let's see. That was war. Let's see. 1776, 1812, over 200 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Fucking how many decades and shit? Is that, you know, fuck, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anyone's trying to take us over. Yeah. I mean, Japan came over and bombed us just so... That was an economical thing. I mean, yeah, a, that economical was, thing. That was to knock... To, so we didn't go into the war. Yeah. You know, they figured if they knock us out early, then we couldn't get into it, then that would make their jobs easier taking, you know, beating Britain and everyone else. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for them, it didn't work out that way. And they just kind of pissed us <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to bomb us? Oh, we got a bomb for you. Yeah. Nigga, we crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then shortly after, Japan was like, you know what? Uh, fuck this army shit. Let's let's focus on... Taking over other yeah, electronics. Yeah. Yeah, let's focus on electronics and shit. I bet we can make a badass stereo. <laughs> we might killer. not be good at this army crap. Yeah, like, man. Boy, can we make a phone like motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> you guys heard of video games? Nigga, we got you, son. We got yeah, you. We got you. <laughs> You'll be coming out. You'll be begging us. <laughs> you might have bombed us. We'll take over your country one way or the other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, like, uh, I forgot I was going to say on that. No, but that's, a, that's, again, man, that's how it all is, man. The whole world's a gangbang. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's a gangbang on a bigger scale, man. They wouldn't want to argue with that, then they can argue all they want, but they don't realize how intricate shit, how intricate corruption fucking, you know, and yeah, I will use that word on that one. They don't realize how in- intricate in- corruption and how detailed corruption can be yeah. on any scale, you know. Like one, I will, you know, in some it's not respect. It's just what it really is. They don't real. A lot of people don't realize how fucking how much intelligence there actually is in a street gang, you know. How much fucking detail and fucking slick these motherfuckers actually are, you know. I mean, like, for one, like, you know, the more known gangs, shit like that. How long has the Crips been around? 
Oh my god. Yeah. Like you, ever. Yeah. You, Probably you think 70s, I'd say? About 70s. Yeah, I'd say. Late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, I was gonna say, they've been fried. What's it called? Crips and the Bloods. The Bloods, yeah. They, and, and, they, those two original, those two original ones, pretty much? Yeah. Towards a more, more known, yeah, modern, yeah, yeah. urban game, yeah. Because they descended off the blood, uh, off the fucking Panthers. Yeah. But, uh, what's it called? Like, either way, my, my point is, like, you can tell me they've been, they, they, what's it called? Like, them motherfuckers have been around that long, just being straight, uneducated, ignorant motherfuckers? Nah. They got ignorant motherfuckers in them groups. Don't get me wrong, they do. But there's always a fall guy. <laughs> there's always a fall guy. I know, what would you call them, soldiers? Yeah. Or what would they, I know it's like, there's a hierarchy they go by. Well, we, each one, they have their own little different brand, you know, yeah. ways of promoting and levels and yeah. shit like that. <laughs> no, I, I purposely tried to forget about a lot of that shit. I am not but no, but either way, you, like I said, you got there's levels to the shit, man. You got your fall guys, you got your little motherfuckers, then you got your actual high ups and shit. Them high ups, those are made men. They don't get touched. Yeah. You know. And that's how, and then with street, with short street culture, that's how that shit works. You know, it's not even the street. You got the, you got the same shit in the neo Nazi regime and shit like that. You have the little fucking dumb idiots that are fucking shaving their skulls and stuff like that. Hell, Hitler, ha 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 ha. Then you have the real fucking, like, high up white supremacist shit, motherfuckers and shit. The motherfuckers don't shave their heads. Nope. They ain't screaming, hell, Hitler. They ain't screaming all this fucking ignorant shit. You'd be surprised as fuck to see these niggas and shit, man. And they're keeping all that shit down to themselves and stuff. Those are for the fall guys to go advertise and make themselves look like stupid idiots and shit. <laughs> that way we can do the real fucking moves. <laughs> <laughs> These higher ups and I'm the you know, the neo Nazi regime and stuff like that. These higher ups are fucking in charge of fucking companies, running running fucking oh, yeah. you know. Some of them are, some of them are actually in fucking government in some oh, yeah. sort. Like fucking men, running the of them are mayor, some of them are fucking like you know fucking treasurers and shit like that, man. There's levels to everything, man. I think, in some sense, that's what does drive my, like, repulse, my sarcastic anger. <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep it in a humor my, most of the time because, you know, as angry as I am, I just try to be, you know, try to make a joke out of everything, yeah. man. It's the only way you can deal with shit, man, but... You know, I, I guess that's, 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 that's always this, what's always been on my fucking view on everything. It's just like, man, it's all the same... Oh shit! I guess that's why, like, in some sense, I will even use the word as like I kind of look down everything because it's the same shit. That's a different surface, but it's the same fucking shit. Mm-hmm. And, and what does get to me is what people just don't, when when most people just don't fucking see it for what it really is, you know. Like, how can you be that blind and ignorant? <laughs> Try not to attack, but like, fucking it, you're making it really hard. <laughs> All right, let's talk on a different topic. <laughs> you got serious as fuck, man. I know, right? People are going to listen to this episode like, what the fuck? We, we've been doing that a lot more as of late, though, man. No, that's okay. Getting some serious shit, man. That's good, because it's a nice mixture. Yeah. We can be fucking goofy as fuck, and then we can turn right. on serious, you know. I'd rather do that anyways, because that way, you know, our listeners do understand that we do have, like, a serious side to us. Yeah. Every once in a while. I just, what's it called, like, I know there was a while back where I kind of, I was harping on, we don't talk about horror enough, man, but I'm just so out of a loop towards entertainment and shit like that. I don't know what's going on anymore, man. I'm just so, you know, I, I've been kind of like just going right back into my straight hermit crab mode again, man. There's not even just watching the shit that I like anymore. It's just like straight veering away from just about everything, man. Yeah. 
I don't know what's going on in the horror scene anymore. I really don't. Um, not much, really. Um, not much. I, I told you about it. I told you about that. Um, not much that I know about coming out anytime yeah. soon. Um, well, we got that convention coming up in about two weeks. I don't, uh, honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go. Wow, really? I'm being straight honest. Well, what, what were we talking about? Like, this, like... Oh, wait, that was the one in Detroit, though. We were just yeah, talking the about, Sunday like, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't, you know what? Never mind, because we were just talking about, like, this... Hey, what's it called, though? The worst-case scenario that's, like, me... Us going on, like, after I get out of work, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's gunning straight... Never mind. Yeah. That's why I did Sunday, because, like, I knew... Usually, you don't have anything planned on that Sunday, on the yeah. Sundays. Because I don't even bother, like, asking about the excuse Saturdays or Fridays with you. Yeah. Because that shit, I mean... But, um... You gonna be able to go still or? No, never mind. I, I was thinking of the whole like the whole thing, like the oh, whole thing. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. no. no I, way, I, no. I bought, I bought tickets for like the Sunday, so that's only the tickets I bought for. No, yeah, Sunday I can skip out. Okay. Because I figured I was just gonna pick you up from work and then. Because Sunday's my my Sunday's my my fun day anyway. Yeah. Sunday's my. Well, that's what I kind of figured. Well, I was about to say Sunday's my go to the bar and get drunk, but lately as late it's been just about every day. <laughs> I need to cut that shit out, man. I keep saying that too. I need to cut that I shit need out. To cut the, need to stop that. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how much is he costs for like uh, autographs. If you're gonna do autograph or you want to do picture with George. Um hopefully I'll find out. I don't know towards the autograph and the picture. I just want to meet. I don't want to meet the man. So I guess yeah. in some sense, yeah, the picture. That way I could even say yeah. that and finally like, have a memory of it. Like, yeah. <coughs> besides in my actual head, it's like, yeah, fucking met George Romero, man. Yeah. Because <coughs> I think probably if anything, we could like, because I could probably pay for like the picture. Like, well, I know like they're, they're doing professional pictures, but he's not doing it on the day we're there. Yeah. Um. So I think we should be able to just do it at his desk, his table. Yeah. Um, just pay for it. Yeah. It. Like, hey, our own personal phone. Yeah. I don't mind with that. I, I honestly that. prefer that better. Yeah. As much as I respect the professional and shit like that, and you know, and we we have what <coughs> we have the professional picture with like Bret Hart and um, yeah, what's her name? Oh, I forget the fuck oh. the actress name now. Yeah. <coughs> they just, I don't know. They don't seem as it seemed manufactured to me. It's yeah. like not real. Yeah. Well, it's like a factory. All right, you come in. You sh- yeah. You know. All right, you. Because next. it literally is that. Yeah. yeah. Next. next. Get out of here now. Next. 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 All right. Yeah. Hey, thanks for letting me take a picture with you. Yeah. Like my picture, what? Which I, 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 I wish I still had, man. I don't know where it went. But my picture with uh, when we had when we got that picture with um, what's his fucking name now? The guy from Ghostbusters. Oh, Ernie. Yeah, Ernie. Yeah. Yeah, that picture felt real as fuck. Because he was like, yeah, get the fuck over here, yeah. motherfuckers. Take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, you can take a picture. <laughs> I, I know he's going to like you a lot. It's fucking Tom Savini. <coughs> yeah. Because he's going to fucking, because like, he's big and like, he likes MMA and all that shit. Yeah. He's, he, he does, he actually does a lot of the masks for fucking WWE now. Oh, that's, that's what's up. So like, he's going to fucking like you a lot, I feel. <coughs> I mean, he's a real cool guy. <coughs> he's like real laid back. Yeah. And a lot of people, like, a lot of people, like, online, like, he's an asshole, he's fucking, but he's, like, he's really introverted, he's not, like, a big, like, blah, 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 blah. you know, like, George will talk your off. Yeah. No, I've always heard that about, on the respect, when people talk about with more respect, he's just more, like, he's soft-spoken, mm-hmm. low, low down. Because when I met him, he was, like, you know, he was sick, and he's, like, hey, man, I don't want to get you sick. And so I'm, like, oh, it's cool, dude. Like, bum knuckles, it's cool. Right. But I guess some there are some people from uh, Don gonna be there too now. Yeah. Holy shit! You know we have to go to Indiana now. Just go to fucking. Uh, Cause that, that's the Detroit one, yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, what does it say that like um, nigga, why am I forgetting right now? It wasn't what's it called? That was the whole thing. Like, uh, ain't it almost like a whole full cash reunion? Just about. Almost, yeah. They're missing, like, uh, Ken Forhey. Uh, Which one's Ken Forhey? He was the, uh, the black guy. Oh, okay. 
I thought it was going to be at the the Detroit one. He might. Is it Ken? No, I don't remember. I, I thought it was fly. I thought it was Flyboy that wasn't going to be. Maybe there. it is Flyboy. Yeah. I don't want him to not scheduled as of yet, but that can change. Yeah. So. Who else is going to be there, man? Even though we're going to miss most of it because we're going to go on Sunday. No, there'll be some people there. Um, I can tell you. Key Flasher. <laughs> yeah, from the grave. They're bringing his his his, his uh, skeleton. Contact the Ouija board. <laughs> hey guys, when you get that after light, be in the watch out for first night three. <laughs> you didn't make it first night two. It's also an after life. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> uh, Matthew Lillard. Ah. Sid's gonna be there. He's always there. Yeah, he just lives there. He lives. With he, he lives. He, he's always on the horror conventions. Yeah. Um. John, uh, the, John Russo, that guy, is gonna be there again. John Russo. He's he'll be there. Uh, yeah. Tracy Lords. Tra- did you say Tracy Lords? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lloyd Kaufman. Word. Scott. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Flyboy's gonna. Is a Flyboy? No, Flyboy's the... Uh, Flyboy was the news reporter. The other, new, the yeah, other, yeah. The other reporter. So, pretty much it's going to be... Um, Gail. Yeah. Galen. Fly Girl. Fly Girl. Um, nice old titties. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> when then, that movie was made, who in the probably droopy as shit now? <laughs> uh, that's okay. <laughs> Tom's going to be there. Um, and then... Jose Canseco. Jose, uh, yeah, Jose Canseco. Chubby Chago. <laughs> Chubby Chago. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the one I'm, shit, you know who I'm, I'm going for one person, one person really only. Yup. Well, actually two now. Yeah. Lloyd and fucking George and, well, three, fuck it. Lloyd Banks? Lloyd Kaufman. No. <laughs> <Never mind>. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd Banks fucking. the rapper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. And on that note. Chicka Chicka G unit. Oh, I mean, uh. America. America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. This was another tantalizing episode from Zombie Thuggin' Podcast.